Well, I'm in the House of Keys today to talk with uh, Jim Watson in his position of uh, the, the, the man who's going to sort out the, my, well, not my, but all filming problems in, in, that's coming up. Because it's a great uh, um, final push, isn't it, that you're, you're pushing. You're head of the Standing Orders Committee. Your decision and, and your group to allow cameras in. But even like today, we can't film in Timor because we need permission. And, and this is where it's all incredibly stuck, right. isn't it, at the minute? Everything needs permission. Yeah, well, I think to, to take it back even further, um, there's been a lot of calls over the years to film Tin Ward and to film the House of Keys, and the path that was going down previously were that members were looking at perhaps actually installing cameras, rewiring the, the room, and it was going to cost an awful lot of money. So um, this is a far more effective um, and pub uh, efficient way of dealing with the same issue where um, journalists can come in can uh, film our proceedings um, without us having to put in you know, thousands of pounds worth of infrastructure to make it happen. But Jersey's done it recently, and I don't know, I mean, there's a freedom of information request. I don't remember being that much these days, because it's, it's falling, isn't it? These sort of technology things, it's well, falling all when, time. It, when it started off, they had um, about 800 people use it, and it's now, it's now dropped to under 200 regular yeah. users. Um, so it will probably plateau at one to two hundred users. But to spend, you know, a hundred thousand pounds on the equipment and potentially more then on staffing to sort of edit and control the equipment, yeah. that's just not value for money for the taxpayer. So this is this is the best of both worlds where you come in and you film what you want um, without having to film everything um, and then as long as it's used responsibly, yeah. then uh, we shouldn't have a problem with that. I'll come we? back to all this in a moment, but isn't this the sort of thing that the BBC could be doing? You know, we keep hearing about this million pounds a year light but mm. you know they have BBC Parliament for mm -hmm. instance all these things that we have no access to wouldn't this be the perfect thing that you could persuade them to put all the technology in for use for all media absolutely and I believe that a conversation was had a few, several years ago on that but it's not certainly that's no excuse for not revisiting it so what we're talking about at the moment is definitely getting something going in the meantime whilst we continue those discussions and continue to evaluate whether it's worth it. Because, of course, the cost of technology, the cost of broadband, you know, should continue to fall. Um, so it will, there should be a business case one day. But at the moment, for those sort of 200 people that will use it, um, probably uh, week in, week out, it's just not worth spending that amount of money to, to redo the chamber to accommodate it. Do you know how many people listen to it, for instance, as well? I mean, is it, is it a great amount of people on a regular basis? I mean, those people, most of them probably would switch to seeing it rather than just listening to it, I suppose. Uh, I don't know. Um, I don't think you can make that direct correlation because um, certainly, you know, when you go around and talk to people about how they access um, their information to Tinwald, a lot of it via the website, some of it via live streaming for bits that they're particularly interested in um, and also streaming later. Um, those people who listen to radio often have it on in the background, mm. so they're not sitting there listening intently and taking notes to what's going on in Tinwald. They're doing other things at the same time, whether in the car or around the house and, and doing that. Now, you, you put down responsibility and uh, you own the copyright, and the all these sort of things. Do you, do you believe that it, it's something that could be abused if it was just a free-for-all? Yeah, and certainly um, I think there's um, some high-profile examples of that in other jurisdictions. But um, the, the reason for Tyndall owning the copyright is only to say that if someone does sort of um, meddle with it and put it up on YouTube, then we can ask for it to be taken down rather than asking somebody to ask somebody else. Uh, so it's that, just that clear line of sight, really. OK, well, it looks as if uh, the Chief Minister, cause at the time of recording, we're still waiting to know, because it's not on the order paper. He, he's potentially got something big to say in January, so I'm make, making a request to come in. Um, and then, of course, in February, there's the budget, so there's two biggies mm. there immediately. But, of course, uh, I mean, I suppose the way I'm going to be able to film it is very light, because, I mean, you just have to use the technology that I can do from the press mm -hmm. bench, which is not going to be ideal. But it, it, it's just pushing that door open. You agree that this is... A, a try before you buy, maybe fully at some point. Yeah, but this is certainly sort of trying to meet that demand for being able to have um, visuals um, and that sort of direct footage from the chamber. So that is important, and that's something that we do know that people want. Um, so it's whether it was enough people to justify a lot of spending, a lot of taxpayers' money going into it, that's different. Except that with the last <coughs> jurisdiction, probably I can think of in the British Isles, maybe. That, I mean, even most councils seem to be doing it these days. Yeah. Uh, in the UK, I, you know. Yeah, absolutely. And, of course, some councils in the UK have far, far larger catchment areas than, than we do. So I don't think that in itself is, is a reason to do it. Are you keen for it? Uh, I'm certainly happy. To, yeah, that, happy or keen? I mean, I'm, do you I think am it will, keen. I'm keen. I'm the one who brought the motion into the, the, sure, the keys. But you know, it's going to change the, the dynamic slightly, isn't yes, it? Yes, it Because people will be aware that they can't just sit, sit there eating sweets, maybe, like, or passing their notes as much as they can do on the audio system. Yeah, absolutely. 
it will change the, the dynamic, and I suppose in a way it should change the dynamic slightly. Um, but that, that shouldn't be a problem, um, because we're all in here for a purpose, and we do what we do with the full knowledge that we should be in the public glare. Um, we should have a full gallery, um, and we should always consider that, that we've got a full gallery. Um, of course, the, the gallery isn't ideal for sort of coming in and sitting and watching proceedings, because... Um, if you're uh, looking at some of the members, you really have to lean over the, uh, the, the balcony in order to try and um, get a good view. This will potentially solve that, that problem to a degree. Um, and so, yeah, absolutely. We should always act as if we are acting in, in the full glare of the public eye, and this, okay. this is no different. So we're talking about Tinwell. What about House of Keys? Do you see that being part of the same process if it does come across? Absolutely, yes. Tinwell First Keys will follow very soon after, I would like to think, because you certainly have established the, um, the principle in Tinwell. No reason why we, we, we shouldn't follow very quickly. I suppose we should bring on. the Legislative Council into that discussion, but that's, you know, that's if, of if course you can do up to them. Yes. But this is the future. I mean, this is, this is where we should be, right? And uh, we'll see what happens. I mean, I say we, we hope we can get our, uh, some sort of fo footage from inside uh, soon, and this could be the beginning of, of the, the future of the way Parliament will be seen. It, it is absolutely the, the next step in terms of um, seeing Parliament in action. And where it ends, we don't know. I'd like to think that it ends sort of the full recording of all the proceedings, but we've got to make sure that there's a good argument for the taxpayer in uh, spending that sort of money and doing it.